And developing tonight, a former pageant director facing federal charges accused of stealing from the Miss Florida Scholarship Program. Let's get right to Local 10's Christian De La Rosa live in Miami with the details. Christian. Agents believe this scam went on for years and that this woman used the money she is accused of stealing to pay for personal expenses like utilities, a maid cleaning service, and even an online dating website. Mary Sullivan, the president and executive director. Of I think it's really disappointing that somebody uh, in that role uh, for, for as long as they were in that role potentially could have um, used that role to enrich herself. 76 year old Mary Wickersham, known by most in the pageant world as Mary Sullivan, is the former executive director of the Miss Florida Pageant Scholarship Program and is now facing seven counts of wire fraud. FDLE agents on the case say in 2011, she formed a fake corporation called Miss Florida LLC and used it to deposit donation money in a bank account only she had access to. Money meant for the real Miss Florida organization. Agents say in total, she pocketed at least $100,000 for her personal benefit. Miss Florida! 2010. Speaking only with Local 10 News, Jacqueline Rowlerson, crowned Miss Florida 2010 under Sullivan, says she is shocked. Hopefully the truth comes to light about all of that because it is an organization that involves so many countless people um, and charities and sponsors. In light of the allegations, Rowlerson is speaking out to highlight the Miss Florida organization in light of the scandal. And as disappointing as it is, um, I am still very proud to be a part of the Miss Florida organization as a former um, because it is a, a really a life changing organization. You could speak to a majority of the contestants and they will tell you how this organization changed their life. That is what trumps what's going on right now. Agents also believe other organizations may have fallen victim to the scam, including the Everglades Foundation and the Children's Miracle Network, which raises money for children's hospitals. Uh, Wickersham actually turned herself into authorities earlier today right here in downtown Miami, where we're live. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.